Hi guys, I'm super happy to see you guys again and I just want to remind you that today is the last day to use the promo code to get 90% off in our newly released course, The Mechanical Creature Making for Production. We go over modeling, texturing and all of the different things that you need to know how in order to create a result like this, what you're seeing right here. Now, if you want to check it out, the link's going to be down here. There's a 90% discount for you, Demi. And here's going to be a new, like the, the final, the last little sample of the course. So in case you want to check it out before you buy it, you can get an idea of what we're going to be covering. And one more thing, I'm going to be seeing you guys a little bit later today, 9 a.m. Mexico time, 9.30 p.m. India time for our uh, Monday live stream. So make sure to hit the little subscribe icon to get the notification. And uh, yeah, that's it for now. Enjoy. Hey, guys. In this one, we're going to continue with the tail armor. This is the next part. And I'm actually really conflicted about the tail because I love how this skeletal tail looks. And I understand what we're going for here, which is a a sort of like cloth thing or, or like rubber thing that's going to protect the inner mechanisms. But I feel like this looks so, so cool. So let's start with the tail first, like the armors, uh, armor pieces. Let's see how that looks. And then if we feel like we can, we, we need to add that like a, like a hose thing, uh, we'll add it. The reason why I don't love the hose thing is because it, it, again, the, the mechanism looks really cool, right? Like we did a very good job in, in thinking how to link all of these pieces together and we're just going to hide everything. And that, that to me, I, I don't love. <laughs> so let's go over here and start with a quadro tool. Very simple. We're just going to do one, two, three, four, five, six and hit enter. And uh, as you can see, we need to, of course, clean this up a little bit. So with our cut tool, we go here and down here, enter, and we'll go here and up here, enter. And that gives us the main like frame of this uh, like armor piece. So I'm gonna grab the piece, Control E, and we're gonna extrude all the way out. So we cover both elements. I'm gonna go really, really like close to the to the black thing, which is right around there. And then we are gonna delete, of course, all of these inner pieces, so that we're only left with a hull, which is this piece right here. Very simple hull, very very simple plate. Control E. Thickness up, and that's gonna create the main uh, the main hole for the whole well whole element, and then um, we just like if we press number three, we can see how how this is going. Of course, we're gonna delete this inner pieces as well because eventually we're gonna merge this to the other side. And um, I think again, simple pieces. So let's just bevel this like so, and we're gonna get this very boxy looking uh, nice element. Grab this guy mirror to the other side and there we go that's going to be my first armor piece now uh, the second armor piece as you can see goes inside this first armor piece i'm just going to control d of course let's center the pivot point it's going to be either a little bit smaller or make that one a little bit bigger and we're just going to modify now this has a, a slightly different curvature as you can see right here it, it points up so all of these guys kind of like point up like this which changes quite a bit on the on the movement thing, there we go. We can just recycle uh, what we had there and play around with this thing. Let's bring this thing up. Let's center the pivot point. Bring this thing up a little bit so we can bring this one up as well a little bit. And that should be enough. Now, as you can see, we do need to, to make this a little bit wider so we're not actually like colliding with the armor. And that means that this one also needs to be wider if it's gonna be housing these other piece right here. So I'm gonna grab these two guys right here. I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna assign an existing material. It's gonna be the armor material. And this is gonna allow me to see how the, the color breakups are looking. And so far I, I like them. I, I think this is a, a nice breakup for the tail. Now you can see there's a small little thing right there. Um, like a small little, I don't know, like plate or detail. It looks very similar to, to this one right here. Of course, this is a little bit too much. Maybe this one we could reuse. Or if not, we're probably going to have to like model this again. Now here you can see that again, this this uh, like location is going a little bit more towards this side. Again, we're, we're modifying a couple of elements from the original concept. If you want to perfectly mesh them, as long as we're not touching the see like that, that's that's touching the element. So that's why we're kind of like modifying them a little bit. We should be able to get something that looks quite, quite nice. So I think I, I really like this. Like, I really like the fact that we have this thing right here and then we can build everything up from there. 
So for the tail back here, I think we can do something really cool because I like this sort of like negative shape that we have right here. And I actually really like this piece that we have right here, like the, the, the general like shape, right? So we need to attach a new sort of like armor, whatever <laughs> this is, uh, right here. And this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to start with my uh, create polygon tool. I'm going to trace the shape of this thing right here. There we go. And that's a super simple polygon to fix, right? Because we can just go from here to here and that's it. We got like a very nice square. And what I'm going to do is I want to create a negative shape. So I'm going to push this. Let's center the pivot point. I'm going to push this to the side like here and then control E, push this out. And you can see it kind of like tapers in, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scale it in like this to create a sharper looking uh, shape that's going to be on top or it's going to be like attached somehow to the rest of the elements. So probably right around there. We can see that there's a hole in this uh, piece right here, which is fine. There's one more thing I want to do. I actually want to graph this vertex right here. And I want to see if I can push them in at least this one. No, it's not really working. Maybe this one right here, I'm going to push it out. Because again, I want to create this sort of like interesting looking shape. And then this two guys right here, I'm going to push them in a little bit. That's going to create a, a different type of uh, like element. But the, the best way to do that actually is to grab these two guys and just rotate them. Because otherwise we create something called like non-planar faces where things are looking just a little bit weird. So I'm going to do this. It's going to be tapered on the, on the upside and then uh, like thinner on the inside. And um, you can see that on, on this part right here, it seems to be connected, right, to the other side. So what I need to do here is I need to uh, move this or, or mirror this on the world negative axis. And then I need to assign one here, let's say like 80% and 80% on this side. Delete this faces right here. Actually not delete them. I kind of want to, because that, that both looks like a, like a, um, like an indentation and like something else. So I'm actually going to do something else here. I'm going to offset. And then I'm going to extrude again, push them up and delete. And then we select this side and this side and we're going to bridge. And look at how cool this shape looks like. We're kind of like mirroring the same sort of like effect that we have right here, but with an, an armor piece that's going to be hugging this whole element. It's going to be going through this uh, with a, a nice uh, like bolt right there. Now, for the bolt, again, we can do the whole, I, I really like the simplicity of this shape right here. And I think if we just, like, again, do the bevel trick and, uh, and bevel this very nicely there, that, that's going to pretty much solve all of our issues. This, of course, is going to be the armor armor material right there. Um, the only thing we need is just a rod, right? So let's just grab this rod right here again, or maybe even, like, this one right here. Control D. Delete. All of those like back faces right there. Go back to this one. We can center this on the grid and just get it where it's supposed to be. Like no need to overcomplicate it unless we're gonna do some sort of animation where we like um, disassemble the whole thing. Something like this is, is smart enough. As you can see, we go through the through both elements, create the nice little hoop, and that I I really like this. Like how this looks. To me, uh, it just makes more sense to, again, to have the exposed sort of uh, sort of like tail mechanism and um, and just have this piece as a, as a support at the end. It could be used to like, I don't know, defend itself or something, uh, but it just it just makes sense, right? So um, now if I had to do the tail, because I do want to include that, like if we had to do the tail, I'm actually also going to ignore the little piece right there. It's just so simple, right? Like that little guy right there. Mm. Like, like where would it go? I'm thinking where where we where and why would I add something like that? And I, I can't seem to find a specific answer. But I know if I don't do this, someone in the comments is gonna be like, hey, you forgot to do this little piece. So let's very quickly do it. Let's just go. Oh, I'm just gonna do quadra again. Just a very, very simple like square piece. Like that. Center the pivot point. Let's move it to the side. It's going to be connecting both of these pieces. So control E, push it out. There we go. And then I am just going to bevel the whole thing. I'm going to add a couple of 
lines to create my circle, which is going to be this one right here. Grab both of these guys, and we're going to say um, Edit Mesh and Circularize. There we go. Just rotate this so slightly. Control E, Offset, and Bridge. And let's bevel those. Oop, bevel. Small fraction, two seconds. There we go. We assign the black rubber material. And it's just a small detail that's gonna be right here. Again, it's 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 weird, right? Because it's kind of like hidden between both of them. And 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 it's weird because it needs to be like at the very back, like this, actually, to, to make sense. Um yeah, so not sure. I'm not really sure. Like I, I again I don't love this detail, but I'm just gonna add it for completion sake. So let's mirror this to the other side. And there we go. It's just a small little like rubber detail there at the back. Um, now that we have that, again, I'm gonna show you real quick how I would probably do this sort of like cloth effect on the on the whole thing. So I'm gonna go to the tail. And you've probably seen this in like military like equipment where, where they again protect this sort of stuff. So I'm gonna use my curve tool and I'm gonna create a curve that follows closely the shape of the tail, which is right right there. And then we're gonna use our uh, sweep mesh tool which we already know will create a nice cylinder. And increase the, the scale of the cylinder to something like an eight, really, really thick, like that. And uh, in the in the options here, I'm gonna give this a couple more sides, something like 12 sides. So we have a center line and that amount of uh, polygons that we have right there is perfectly, perfectly fine. Now we need to grab the tail and the tail was a little bit of an issue because if you remember, we actually rigged the tail, right? So we had all of these things like inside of each other. So I'm gonna shift P all of them. I'm gonna combine them into a single mesh. So now the whole tail is a single mesh, which again, not ideal, but uh, it can be done. And then this guy, I'm gonna make this a live surface. And this guy right here, I'm gonna use mesh and conform. And what conform will do is, as you can see, it will push the cloth to the different parts of the mesh so that it kind of like shrink wraps around the whole thing. See that right there? It's kind of like shrink wrapping and creating a really like tight construction on top of the whole thing. Then what we can do is we can grab this guy right here and extrude it a little bit more. And this is going to create a sort of like crumbled effect right there. It's going to give us the illusion of being a cloth that's on top of the whole element. I'm of course gonna have to like fix a couple of things right there. You can see the the vertices right there like colliding a little bit between each other. Probably easiest way to uh, to do that would be to just like delete some of these edges. For instance, if we delete this edge right here, that pretty much solves the the whole thing. You can grab this edge right here and just move it down. And again, you you guys have probably seen this sort of like military equipment where it has this sort of like a uh, it could be rubber, it could be like a bunch of different things. Uh, just wrapping around the element. I'm going to press V, which is soft selection. Go to my right view. We can push this back. And, and that's going to give me something, right? <laughs> this is this is why I don't think this is a great idea, because if we do it with a with a traditional like cylinder, it's not going to taper this thin. It's going to still be quite thick, and it's going to look really, really, really weird. This looks like an intestine or like a little bit of poop. So I, I don't like it. But if I had to do it, this is probably how I would do it. Just create a cylinder and shrink wrap it along the whole um, the whole thing. Now let's see if we can go all the way back to before we um, like destroyed the tail by unparenting and stuff. Did we? Yeah, it seems we did. Okay, cool. So yeah, so this is pretty much what I would do for the tail, my friends. This is... Um, this is the end of this one, and on the next one, we're now gonna jump onto the uh, onto the legs. We're gonna do the legs and then the hips, and we're gonna be pretty much set. So hang on tight, and I'll see you back on the next one. Bye bye.